Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 33 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what happened today. Mmm... Now he's sick. Like, what if the mom had something to do with this? Or, you know, the dude who's trying to kidnap mine? I, I hate saying that, but, like, let's put our thinking caps on, you know? Like, like let's be a little serious about this. Like, ugh. to download this song because I, I just like it so much. Hell, I think this song might be my favorite opening song out of what all four openings that we've had for this series. Yeah, like almost chicken pox. Don't you think he maybe should check for red buns on his body rather than just his face? But no red bumps yet. It is exactly what it is. He has he's got to have the same situation about mine. I think so. Mm. Yeah. 
But whatever it is, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I figured he has like rash all over him. Exactly. But still, he's a baby, though. Mm. I think Delia will never see him again. Just let him be safe. No, he's a boy. He'll be okay. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I know.
Okay. Yeah, it would make the most sense. Mm hmm I don't want to separate them! Because she's already so attached. Like, I can't imagine that. Like, ah! Uh. That's like me when I got Cody for the first time. <laughs> Fixing agent, what's that? But, uh, you're right, because you can't do too much. Uh.
No, honey. No, it's not. Mm hmm. She's right. Mm. Yeah, I get you. You got this, baby. anxiety. Mm-hmm. And she'll probably come more because of him.
Exactly. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> and of course, what's his face had to open his big fucking mouth and tell Delia about that because see, my thing was and, and this was the biggest thing about this because of the fact is once we found out that you know Dilk had the devouring and everything. I was like, he's going to have to be adopted and Delia would never see him again. But it made me think if there was a noble who was sweet enough to adopt both her and him, she would automatically be a noble as well, right? But then she would still be put in a place similar to Dilk, right? So, but the thing is, at least they would be together. You know, but, oh, God, this is a hard situation. Oh, my God. I don't know what else to say. It, it was sweet. I love their relationship and how she she cares about him, not only on, like, a motherly figure, uh, a motherly way, but also a sisterly way ever since mine personally assigned her to him. Because if she didn't care about Dilk, she wouldn't do all the things that she's doing now for this child. Because she really, truly is head over heels in love with that child as a mother or a father would be in love with their child. So, I get it. I really do. I just, I want a happy ending for both of them. But with the, with the fact is we probably got, what, three more weeks with this show left? We're probably not getting that. Ugh. <sighs> That's what I thought, too. Well, that's not fair. But I really, oh, that's gorgeous. I just, I don't think this is going to end well. We got three more weeks with this show. Three more weeks. Thank God next week is Memorial Day and I get to have a day off. So, you know, you guys get to have this out hella earlier than, you know, either having it out at like 10 o'clock at night or, you know, sometimes even the next day. But... I just, I got a really bad feeling for this child. And I, I want him to have the best options so that he can be safe. But placing him under a noble like this, and this is still, like, how I felt about mine, you know, several weeks ago. And how it's like, oh, it's the best thing for him or her. But then at the same time, like, everyone who she's made friends with and stuff, it's like, what about their feelings, you know? What about anyone's feelings? besides still yes he's a baby and he can't really think for himself or even say for anything for himself is all but delia speaks for him and such and so you have to think about the fact that she's not going to be able to see him every day i can't i can't imagine like you oh my god uh you you're having something and you're so used to something and it gets so taken away. Like, okay, imagine you're, you have a pet and, um, let's say either you give the pet away or unfortunately the pet passes away. Um, all those little moments that you had with that pet, they're gone after that. You, it feels weird. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm going to talk about this again. Um, when, both of my dogs died like a month apart uh, around the time when I was moving. 
um, we put Kiana down, uh, like a week a week before or after my mom's birthday, and then a month, almost two months later, my other dog passed away due to like what we like to say is a broken heart because she loved the crap out of her sister and such and just wanted to be with her. Um, when they both passed away and I was officially in the house by myself and being alone at night for several hours at a time and just being by yourself, it feels weird and it felt very off to me because I'm like, oh, like, you know, the pitter-patter of a dog walking on, you know, the, the tiled floor or you're hearing some a dog eat or drink water or any type of animal do whatever like you those you take little enjoyments of that and then not having those it just feels weird and off so I, I can imagine what you know Dahlia is feeling out of, as of right now because she's like I'm not going to be able to hold him every day I'm not going to be able to feed him every day or anything with him ever again if this happens and so you do really truly feel bad for her as a character I mean yeah like remember once again I ain't like her the first time you know we met her but now it's just it's so different because the fact is I gotta look at her now as like a motherly sisterly role and how you know even her you know breaking her fear and her anxiety and of trying to open that door to the or, uh, to the orphanage even after everything that she's has gone through and such it, you just it, it was a win for her, but still at the same time, she's getting a loss because she's about to lose someone who she really cares for. Like, truly, besides the fucking priest and st the high priest, because once again, at the end of the day, the high priest don't give two rat shits about her. So, I like, I really don't know. I really, really don't fucking know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 33 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday in the afternoon. Thank God, because I'm off next week. Yes, bitch. <laughs> For episode 34. Bye, guys.